So I'm going to graph this polynomial in factored form. Now my degree, what is my degree? Well, let's see. To get my degree, there's a first power there, the first power there, first power there. So 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 5. This is a fifth degree polynomial. My zeros are based on these right here, the opposites. So my zeros are 0 for the first one. What makes 2 negative, I mean, what's the opposite of 2 is negative 2. The opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. And the opposite of 5 is negative 5. So let's put those zeros down. There's 0, negative 2, 3, and negative 5. Those are my five zeros for my fifth degree. Now, something we need to be aware of is this right here. When we have this squared right here, that's called a multiplicity. You might want to write that name down, multiplicity. You'll see that name. They call a second power a multiplicity. It causes a unique effect to your graph. Instead of going through at negative 2, it's going to be a bounce effect. I call it a bounce. It kind of like bounces off the x-axis instead of going through. Because as of now, every time we went through, we went straight through the 0. But when you have a multiplicity of 2, it's going to have a bouncing effect off. OK. So we got our zeros. We got our degree. End behavior. Well, our end behavior is based upon this right here and this. So I know it's negative, and I know it's a fifth degree, which is odd. So I have a negative odd degree function. Negative means it's going to be going down over here. Odd means they're going to go opposite directions. So for my graph, I know it at 5, sorry, right over here on the right side at 3, will my graph be going down? And at negative 5, will my graph be going up? So we now have an idea from here, from my zeros. I know these are the edges. Now i got to fill in the inside. And... If you went straight through, watch what happens. If I went straight through, do you see how I have an issue right here uh, that doesn't hit right? Because of the bounce at negative 2. That multiplicity, we're going to bounce right there. So watch what the bounce looks like. Here's what a bounce looks like. I'm going to be, for instance, coming down. I'll hit right there. And then I come up, I bounce off that. Okay, then I come back up through it, and then I turn back around. So, instead of going through here and going up through, I hit off and turn back around, and then I go back through there. The bounces are a little tricky to get used to. You just got to realize you don't get to go through, you have to ricochet. That takes a little bit of getting used to. How do I sketch those? Then we go and mark our maxes and mins. There's our max. There's our, oops. Ooh. And here is our min, our max, our min. So those are our maxes and mins, and if we want to put the coordinates, we can. This one would be uh, 2, 2. This is negative 1, negative 1. This one's negative 4, negative 2, and this one is negative 2, 0. Those are just in case you want to label them. Again, these aren't the actual maxes and mins. Actually, that is the actual max. Got it? Because it's actually a coordinate we got. So that one actually we know for sure. But these ones I just made up. It's probably a lot higher than we, we, we marked. Um, so watch out for those multiplicities. There's a bounce going on whenever there's a power on an x or a factor.